actually i am a certified uh, crossfit coach and uh, i offer free training to all the bgi students and staff member and uh, that gave me a very good opportunity to interact with any people here and moreover i also teach english for genomics at bgi college and uh, being a scientist i would like to break the stereotype that uh, scientists or researchers are like lab nerds they have no social life they always stick to one particular thing i want to break this thing and uh, make them feel like like we researcher do have life daja ha was a sunil goji ui basically i am from a small village uh, from chatisgarh state of india and later i did my master and doctorate degree from annamalai university which is in southern part of india my strong interest in science and uh, curiosity to learn more actually brought me to china and uh, from 2015 i was uh, doing post doctoral research at sun yat sen university especially in the field of plant molecular biology and when uh, i the first day i came to china i feel like uh, people very warmly welcome me luckily i got an opportunity to officially work at bgi as a research scientist to further on my uh, plant genomic skills and bioinformatics skills so in aocc project uh, we plan to sequence 101 orphan crop species so by sequencing the genome of these important orphan crops we have deciphered or gained some important insight now you are looking at one of the most newly developed variety of eggplant and tomato so this is a hybrid plant where uh, we have the the thicker stem you can see is the eggplant and another the smaller one connected here is the tomato so in a single plant we can harvest eggplant and tomato isn't it amazing since we can uh, grow two crops in a single plant obviously we can have more production so eggplant in africa has several varieties you can see this one is like a tree and some often are with soft branches so uh, since due to the large variation or diversity of eggplant uh, there is a immense potential for this crop to be grown in many many places in aocc project i got an opportunity to collaborate with various top scientists of the world they are very friendly another thing i have seen that uh, whenever i ask them for any help uh, they immediately come forward like i send the email let's have a meeting to discuss about the progress they will uh, very quickly respond and we can have a zoom meeting or another uh, video call meeting and we immediately start discussing so as we all know india is one of the most biodiverse country in the world uh, with several species being endemic to it and agriculture is one of the most important source of indian economy and and these days uh, the agriculture productivity and nutrition is becoming more and more important these days so uh, considering the worldwide food security and the nutritional requirement of the ever increasing human population uh, india and bgi uh, can, or china you can say can definitely work together in this direction so in future uh, we can include more and more different varieties of uh, crops especially uh, based on our finding we can improve those varieties and then uh, uh, can be uh, the their productivity can be increased uh, we can make those crops more tolerant to the harsh environment of africa and uh, on the other hand uh, we can use the china's technology and the resources to further boost their production or to further gain more detail insight in their strong adaptation uh, to the arid environment of africa so uh, i can say we can use africa's resources and china's technology and merge them together for the betterment of the mankind for 
more food productivity and nutritional resources for the increasing population.